Hi, this is Mark Kemper with EMS, and in this video, we're going to do an accuracy test on the GoScan Spark 3D scanner from Creaform. Now, we've done a similar test for the HandyScan Black and the MetraScan 3D scanner with these ball bars you see here, and we thought, well, why not do it for the GoScan Spark and just see how it compares. Now, the GoScan Spark is primarily meant for like industrial design, reverse engineering, and things like that. But why wouldn't you or couldn't you be able to use it for metrology? Well, let's find out how accurate it is and, um, and see what we get. So we've got the same ball bars. These are 26 inch certified ball bars. We've got the, uh, one going left to right, one going front to back with elevation. We're on a targeted table here and we've got some artifacts. And let's get started and I'll, I'll talk more as we go. But we're just going to tell it to uh, start scanning. Um, and we've got an in-depth demo on this scanner if you want to see all the details and features and benefits. We're not going to get into that today. We're just going to do the accuracy test, but I would encourage you to, to watch that. So we're just going to go around and scan. Really all we need is the spheres. Now we are telling it to use targets. Now this scanner doesn't require targets, but if you want to get the ultimate accuracy, the best accuracy, you definitely want to use targets because targets are the most accurate way to scan, okay? But it's not necessarily required. So all I'm doing is moving around and trying to get as much of the sphere as I can. Um, you want to get at least a third of it so you get a good, uh, you know, good uh, sampling of data uh, from that. And why, why spheres is because uh, no matter which direction you scan a sphere from, uh, it has uh, the same center point. So we're going to do a you know, center point to center point uh, measurement uh, from that, that sphere data. Okay. So once it's done, uh, we can take a look at it. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, what's called finalize. And there's just some different processes with the mesh and things you can do. So let's go ahead and get that uh, uh, started. Okay, so that's done processing and finalized. You can just do some different, like I said, clean up and different things to the to the mesh when we're done, depending on what w what we need to do. And again, I encourage you to watch one of those other uh, demo videos to see that. So let's go. And what we're going to do is fit some geometry through our scan data. Uh, in this case, the spheres. And I'm using the connect tool. And basically, wherever I click on the scan data, it'll find all the scan data connected to where I click. In this case. I've told it to fit a sphere uh, through that scan data. And the reason we want to get a sphere as far as a, an actual piece of geometry um, is then we can find the center of it and, and then measure from center to center. So we're just going to create those four spheres. And once we're done, we're going to go in and take some measurements and we are going to go point to point. And we're going to go from sphere one to sphere two and create that measurement and then sphere three to sphere four and create that measurement. And let's move this over here and zoom in a little. And then what I'm going to use is the same spreadsheet we used before uh, with the other scanners. This just makes it easy so I don't have to uh, manually figure it out. So measurement one is 648.434 and measurement two is 644.462. So that gives us uh, a difference of on the first measurement, which is the one here left to right, of about 50 microns or two thousandths of an inch. Um, and in the other one where we've got some elevation and going front to back, uh, we're at about 67 uh, microns or a little over two and a half thousandths of an inch. So overall pretty good and pretty much within the specs of uh, what you know, Creaform has told us for this scanner. And again, when you consider what the intent of this scanner is, having the ability to do some basic inspection at a reasonable tolerance um, is pretty good. It's not going to be as good as the handy scan black or the metro scan, but those are true metrology tools and they come at a, you know, at a different price point. So for folks that, uh, you know, want to primarily do design, reverse engineering, um, you know, things like that, uh, and, and have the color scanning capability for things like uh, animation and you know digital media type stuff um, is a very good scanner at a very good price and the fact that we can get uh, you know pretty good uh, accuracy out of a completely handheld scanner uh, is very good so that wraps up this video just want to do a quick test of the accuracy of the creaform go scan spark